today we're going to draw a bear and we're going to cover it in fur and it's going to look a little bit like fur. Now, if you look on the padlet, there's some pictures of a brown bear, a polar bear and a panda. If you look really closely, you can see the fur on their face. And it's not just, if I was doing colouring in class, I would be doing, we call it year one colouring. So if I do it in, let's have a, let's do blue. If I was colouring in, I would make sure that there were no white bits on my paper and I would try and build up the colours right up to the edge. Now that's very nice colouring, but it's not looking like fur at all. So I've got my colours out and I've got, maybe we use three or four colours, but we've got to draw a bear first. So I'm going to draw across the top. This is going to be where his head is, like that. And this is going to be around and down. That's going to be his chin there, like that. And I'm going to put his ears in here. Here's one. And I think I have the other one here, like that. So I've got the outline of my bear and I'm going to give him a lovely little nose, which isn't going to be hairy. I'm going to give him a black nose, I think. So I'm going to give him a nose there. And here's his smiley face. And then maybe an eye here and an eye here and I'm going to put a little round bit at the bottom so then it looks like he's looking at me. So I've got a black so I'm going to colour in his nose first and that's proper year one colouring. So I'm making sure there's no white bits. There we go and we'll give him his smiley mouth as well, maybe his eyes, like that. There we go. Now I'm going to colour him in. Now, I'm going to start with just little flicks. So I'm going to start from the middle of his nose and I'm going outwards. And if you look at the bears in the picture, that's what happens. So we're going to put lots of little lines and it doesn't matter if they curl a little bit because that's what hair really does, doesn't it? It doesn't all just go in the same direction. So you can make it a little bit curly. There we go. I might give him some bits in like that for his ears. And I might colour that bit in a little bit rather than making them hairy. There we go. And I'm going to carry on doing that over the whole of his face, but I'm also going to use some other colours. So I've got some yellow and some orange and some black. And I'm going to put some of those little bits in it as well. So it'll still look like he's brown because the majority or most of the colours or the little lines I'm using are brown. But I'm putting some other colours in there as well. And it'll make him look just a little bit different. So I'll, I'll show you it in a moment. I'll get up close, but uh, let's just do some of that. Then I'm going to put a bit more brown in it as well, just so that he really is a brown bear. a long time. So there we go, that's the top of his head done. And you can do it so some of the brown is darker, you can press a little bit more or you can do little bits that are a little bit softer. And it doesn't matter if you just go over the line a teeny weeny bit at the top because 
hair doesn't chop off, does it? You have little bits that are a little bit messy, perhaps. So there we go. of my bear and if I bring this in a little bit closer you will be able to see that it does look like he's got a furry face now and then you just go all over it and give him a nice furry face so good luck with that